everyone and welcome to my January Hits and a God Knows. In these videos, I share with you my favorite products of the month. You guys know this, but I just wanted to let you know if you're new here. And without any further ado, let's go. So January has been... It has been good. I went to New York to meet up with Tarte to reveal their new highlighter palette. And then I also filmed my videos with Miss Fame. And then after we flew straight to London where I had food poisoning first, uh, which is a no God no. Spent a lot of time thinking on the toilet and came up with some great ideas for the next couple of weeks. So yay for food poisoning. Overall, it's just been such an amazing month and I just covered a lot of new amazing products because of Miss Fame. I'm telling you, Miss Fame Curtis is doing a makeup tour throughout the entire states. And I, if you're in the states and you're near to a class he's doing, I highly, highly, highly recommend you going. We only filmed those two videos in New York, but I learned so much new trickery and tips and just ways of changing a face and so many amazing new products and a lot of them actually ended up in my um, uh, hits list this month. So if you're near to a class he's doing, I highly recommend you going. I'll put a link down below on where you can find more info and where he's going. But if you're in the neighborhood and you have the budget, go. It's gonna be so, so, so worth it. So without any further ado, let's just go right ahead and jump into my hits of January. So the first product I wanna talk about is by, okay, <laughs> I do not know how to pronounce this, uh, Luxie ton L'Occitan, L'Occitani, L'Occitina, uh, this brand right here. And um, this is their, oh, there's more French. Um, this is their um, Allo Floral de Immortel Biologique Essential Water. Sorry for murdering your ears. This got recommended to me by a follower in the comments section after doing my skincare video. So in the comments of my skincare video, someone recommended this to me. The day after we went to the airport and in the stores, I saw they had it. So I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna take it with me to New York and let's see how it does. So I put on my makeup in New York and that night, I took it off with my routine that you can see in that video and I used this as much. It's a toner. I don't think I acknowledge that, but it's a toner. And the follower who recommended this to me told me that it really strips down any dirt from your pores and that's exactly what I need because Face. So I used it and it really did clean up my face so much more. There was still so much dirt on the cotton pad, which always makes me feel good because, you know, it's, it's gone. I felt fresh, snatched, and just clean. I've been using it ever since then and it's amazing. Next skincare products I want to talk about are by Dr. Brandt. I was watching Manny on Snapchat and he was talking about this because he used it. He was talking about the Dr. Brandt Pore Dermabrasion Pore Perfecting Exfoliator. And this is a scrub, a face scrub. And the beads in this are so, so tiny and fine that it really mimics a microdermabrasion. So Manny said in his Snapchat that it really um, minimizes the appearance of pores. And I'm all about that. I want that plastic. I want, I want Jeffree Star skin because plastic, it's amazing. And then I also saw they had the Dr. Brandt Pores No More Vacuum Cleaner Mask. And I was like, okay, so if we got a scrub, we need a mask to, you know, get the full shebang. I told this in my skincare video, but when I am on a long flight, my pores just can walk in. They were like open house. I scrubbed my face first and then just kind of dipped my thing and put this mask on after and it just really made such a big difference in my pores and any like little breakouts, they turned out to be less red after. So I was like, okay, this is good. I'm gonna try this out more and I've been using this duo every week, like once a week or whenever I just feel when my pores needed and it's so good, it looks so good and yeah. I just really, really like this duo. I highly recommend it and you can get it at Sephora. I never tell people that, but okay. Okay, next up, foundation. I've been really, really, really impressed by the Marc Jacobs um, Remarkable Full Cover Foundation. Of course, it has the word full cover in it. My makeup game has been a little bit of a struggle because I'm trying to do this more natural glam and just, 
I can't do it. Today I wanted to do natural glam and this came out. I look like a fucking drag queen. Whenever there's makeup near me, I want it all on my face and so I do. I tried this, I think early January, late December. And I remember the first time trying it on camera, it really gave me that coverage. It like covered anything. And that works slightly addictive because it has even more coverage than the uh, Ultra HD Sticks by Makeup Forever. And <laughs> Basically, when I put these foundations on, I always do a mix because um, ivory light is too light and ivory is too dark, so I do a mix of the two. Whenever I put this on, my face looks beat. My face looks snatched. My face looks like it's in place. I'm wearing it today. It's it looks very good. It's like so quick because the full coverage is so intense. So you only need the tiniest, tiniest bit. And with a damp beauty blender, you just bounce it in. And it's like perfection in just a couple of minutes because it just, you only need a couple of bounces and you're like bounced. And I know Luster Lux did a great in-depth review here on YouTube. So I highly recommend you checking that video out. So yeah, go check out Katie's video, but I, really, really love these. They're a strong contender for my Makeup Forever Ultra HD sticks. Next up, I got this in New York as well because of Miss Fame, um, Curtis. So he mentioned that whenever you have a concealer and it's not light enough, cause I'm, I'm white, I'm translucent. You can, you, like, you can see right through me when I'm in the sun. Brands don't really come out with concealers that are light enough, let alone stand foundations, but, you know, sometimes we're lucky. So he recommended me getting the Krylon TV paint stick in 00. Zero, zero is white, zero, 00 is off white. <laughs> Tells you how light I am. And it looks like this. And what I do with this is I mix it with any concealer that needs a little bit more coverage and lightness. It's a stick, but I scrape a little bit out from the top. I've been using it every day ever since I got it because it's so addictive to finally be able to highlight my face with concealer. You know, I can finally join the group of girls on Instagram doing like super light under eyes. Never knew I wanted that in life, but apparently I do because it feels addictive to go light for once. Okay, next is a powder that <laughs> Kurt is also used on me. This is the NARS Soft Velvet Loose Powder in Snow. And again, I was so lucky with NARS because they created a powder that is light enough for translucent people like me that still highlights. I talked about this on Snapchat as well, and my Snapchat is Nikki Tutorials if you want to follow me. I've fallen in love with this powder for baking. I will put my foundation and concealer on, and then right after with my beauty blender, I pick up a little bit of this powder and bake underneath my eyes and it just, it just makes it look so good. It just looks highlighted and set and it won't crease. And it's just so good that NARS created a powder that is light enough for super, super light people. So once again, that is soft velvet loose powder in snow. And I use this to bake. I have a lot of favorites this month. Mm -hmm. Okay, next up, I don't even know if this is out. I don't want to get sued, but this is by Tarte. It's an eyeliner. It, I'm, I don't think it's out yet, so I'm not going to talk about it yet. I'm going to talk about it next month, to be sure. Makeup Forever created these awesome diamond powders, and they're like a really, really fine glitter. And um, Curtis used a color on me, the color I have on my lids today. After that, I became pretty much obsessed because it just looked so damn good. So I made it a mission to get every color in New York. And out of all the colors I got, which are all of them, uh, I have three favorites. The one that is on my lid right here, that is number 11. And then these two right here, one is a silvery white, and that is number one. And lastly, also number 13, which is like a a baby bright pink. It's weird how a baby pink can be so bright and so amazing. It's, it's, it's gorgeous. I've also gotten a lot of amazing glitters by Makeup Forever, but I've yet to try them. But I just want to quickly show this one. Oh, I think I'm about to have a heart attack. It's like a mission to go through these. Ah, oh, Cosette brushes. My two favorites are the S185, and it's just a really small, tapered and amazing. This is the brush you will use to, if you have a cut crease, this is perfect to softly blend it out with. It's like concentrated enough to have precision, but it's like big enough to fluff it out. It's amazing. 
this pure magic, this brush. And then I also really, really love the D230. It's very thin, but not thin enough where you can do tight lining with it, but like a little bit bigger where you can like really buff in a color on the lower lash line. This is also perfect to define a cut crease with. It's again, precise and small enough to have that control and precision, um, but it's big enough to work around. So these two right here are my absolute favorite by Cosette. Um, if you're getting any of the Cosette brushes, these two are a must and a Especially this one, especially this one right here. It's so good. My favorite lip products of the month have been by Ofra. Uh, hey, Kathleen Lights, hi. I got introduced to this brand, of course, by Kathleen Lights here on YouTube because of her amazing collaborations with Ofra. And I'm actually wearing one today. On my lips today is Bel Air. And that creates a bridge for me to tell you how much I love this color. It's nude, but it has a kick, and the formula of these liquid lipsticks are so amazing. They're unlike any other liquid lipstick I have tried in the past. With most liquid lipsticks, they feel very wet and very, um, especially the ColourPop ones can get really liquidy, and then they, on the lips, they dry. And I feel like with Ofra, the consistency and formula is more velvety almost mousse type like. They're just such a pleasure to have on your lips and the colors are so great. They smell like an absolute candy and I do have a couple of favorite shades by them. So the one I'm wearing is Bel Air. I already told you I love that. I am obsessed with the color Queens. This is actually gonna be my color for a um, like smoldering sexy Valentine's Day look. So with like full dark lips. I love Queen so much, it's so good. And lastly, I really like Panama because it's that typical Nikki bright corally pink color. And again, the formula is so amazing and just Ofra knows what's up. And Ofra was also kind enough to hook my followers up with a discount code and that discount code goes as follows. It's 30% off and the code for that is Nikki. Last but not least, I wanna share with you my favorite lashes of the month. And my favorite lash by far this month has been Farah by Huda Beauty. These just do it for me. They are the perfect wispiness, perfect length, perfect, just perfect. When I put these lashes on, I feel like such a queen. When I wear these lashes, I feel so good about myself. I'm like, look at my eyes. Look at my eyes. Are you looking at them? So yeah, Farah by Huda Beauty are by far my favorite Huda Beauty lashes. Um, so yeah, those lashes have been suburb. I'm also really loving the Elcone 300T lashes. I'm not 100% sure, but I think Elcone does online shopping, which if they do get the 300T ones, cause they, they fluffy. They fluffy and nice. And that's it. Oh my gosh, I can't believe we made it through. I have so much more favorites, but it's just too much to talk about. So I'll probably lift them to February. Um, so yeah, that concludes my list of favorites of this month. I am so sad to inform you that I'm such a, I'm a happy dork this month. This month has been good. It's been eventful. It's been renewing, it's been inspiring, and therefore I could not be a hateful bitch and have no God, no. <laughs> I know, I know, I feel so sorry for letting you down. There's just not a product this month that I'm really, really hating on. So yeah, that concludes my January hits. And no, oh God, no. <laughs> for a full list of every single product mentioned, go to my description box below or to my blog, nikitutorials.com. You can follow me on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, Snapchat, that all is Nikki Tutorials. As always, if you enjoyed watching this video, then please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I wanna thank you so much for watching again. I love you and hopefully I will see you guys on Sunday with my first Valentine's Day look tutorial. So I will see you guys on Sunday. I love you, bye-bye. Hey everyone, so today I'm gonna do a tutorial on this makeup look right here, inspired by Beyonce. And it all comes from her new music video with Coldplay, him for the weekend. And just, uh, when she graced our lives by coming through in that music video, I, I dead, dead, obsessed.